Hi, Sam Burke, Corporate Chef for Meat and Livestock Australia. Welcome to our Producer to Plate series. It's about creativity, inspiration and education for commercial food service. We've brought the leading executive food development managers and executive chefs right to the source to learn about the love that goes into this product, to learn about what the producer does and then take that inspiration and develop a dish that's applicable to their business that will inspire others. Welcome to the Producer to Plate series. Hi, I'm George, National Culinary Manager for Compass Group Australia, here with Charlie on his magnificent property to learn everything there is to know about Australian lamb and sheep. Let's go. So at Compass, we procure about seven to eight million kilograms yeah, of red meat every year. And of that, probably about two to three million kilograms of sheep meat. And I believe, Charlie, these are Merino. Can you tell me a little bit more about the breed? Yeah, that's right. These are Merinos, uh, had and rigged blood Merino sheep. So my wife's family have been breeding Merinos for nearly 130 years. Oh, wow. So the genetics in these sheep go back a number of generations in their farm. So we've, we've bought some of those sheep here and uh, to land a product on your plate. We breed, uh, join these sheep over summer and then lamb down in May, June. And then by the end of the year, they're generally sold into the market. Can you tell me a little bit about the technology that you've, uh, I guess, yeah, brought to the farm, yeah? Because I hear that you know, you're very uh, technologically advanced, yeah? Or you know, got some great processes. I'd love to hear about that. Yeah, we try to use technology to make our job in the paddock easier. Um, but we also have to supply a lot of information these days for compliance, but also because the customer demands the data and the information. Sure, so sure. We take uh, all the individual animals here have an electronic ID in their ear. Yep. Um, so we record all the information back to that animal. We have an automatic drafting facility back in the yard so we can weigh, draft and treat an animal. We're doing about 600, 650 an hour. Um, wow. So we can put a mob of sheep through there pretty quickly. They're in and out and back on the pasture where they want to be. Fantastic. Um, we've got a fully automated sheep feedlot, which we would have driven past this morning. So it's computer controlled and I can drive it with my phone if I'm down in Sydney or on holiday. We like, or the, we like, like the sound of that. Yeah, awesome. Awesome, yeah. And do you find that, I guess, um, with technology that limits the stress to the animal? Yeah, the, the idea is when we touch them and handle them, it wants to be as quick and as sort of stress-free as possible. So sure. The, the faster and smoother we can get them through the yards, for example, when we weigh them, because we weigh them every fortnight, we walk them into the yards, let them calm down for an hour or two, and, you know, they've just had a long walk, and yep. then we put them through the yards, they're, they're back in the paddock usually within two hours. So, sure, and I imagine reducing that stress also means that you end up with a much better yeah, end product. 100%. Yeah, which is better on our plates at the end of the day, which is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, so they live the good life here. And how have you seen your industry change over the, the, the last couple of years? Well, there's, the last couple of years has been a pretty good time in the sheep sector due to demand and the sheep numbers are falling. So we're finding that demand is increasing and supply is falling. That's a good thing from a price point sure. of view when you're a producer. Um, the world has changed rapidly since the start of this year um, in that consumers want different things now than what they did before. Whereas I think previously they were eating out a lot and doing all that sort of stuff. Now they're yep. cooking at home. Yep. And the trouble for lamb is a lot of people don't know how to cook it. So it's great to have chefs like yourself out here, here today yep. to, to show people what to do with lamb and how versatile it can be, whether it's in food service, sage care, or, or in a restaurant or at home. Very much so, yeah. Lamb is an amazing product, yeah. And as long as, just like anything, you treat it with respect, um, yeah, it comes out absolutely beautiful. G'day Sam. How are you George? Mate, I'm fantastic. What an inspirational day, spending some time with the farmer, hearing about the nurture and care that he puts into his livestock and how you know, he's developed his processes over time. How innovation has caught up, really, really inspirational. So much so that I've been inspired to come up with a dish, a lovely leg of lamb that's been boned out, yeah, which also calls back to my heritage, yeah, my Greek heritage. Um, we usually have lamb on special occasions, and this is a special occasion. Look at this backdrop, you can't get more picturesque and beautiful than that, gorgeous Australia. Lamb, what have we done with it? We've brined it overnight. We've brined it in a 10% ratio of sugar and salt. We do that to impart moisture. It also helps it cook more evenly. Whether we're putting it onto a lovely charcoal that we have here, this gorgeous perilla, 
absolutely fantastic and impart some amazing colour and caramelisation onto it. Or whether you're in a commercial environment within a rational oven, fantastic thing to do. I understand not everyone's got time to do that, but if you can, absolutely brilliant. We're going to serve it up today with some gorgeous Kifla potatoes. We've cooked these off for probably about eight to 10 minutes just to make sure that they're lightly cooked through. It means that they caramelise and roast really evenly when we put them onto the fire. Some lovely heirloom carrots here, gorgeous colour, perfect this time of year. This time of year, you know, your kales, your carrots, your cauliflower, absolutely at, at their peak. Yeah, and adds balance to this dish as well. Lovely kaolettes, yeah, I only came across these recently, absolutely beautiful. Look at those, yeah, the beautiful little gems. And they don't need much cooking. So a little bit of salt and pepper, a little bit of olive oil, Greek, gotta have olive oil, <laughs> yeah. Lightly roasted, that's it. Yeah, you can serve them with a little squeeze of lemon juice, absolutely beautiful. We also have a gorgeous marinade here, once again, calls back to my heritage. Oregano, of course, preserved lemon, salt and pepper, and garlic. Yeah, heroes of any dish. Yeah, if you're ever wond wondering about what marinade to use, that's the one. So George, 65 million meals across Australia. Compass certainly procure a lot of Australian red meat. So MLA have worked with you guys for three to four years on many different ways to help you guys have success with the protein. Whether it's been point of sale, whether it's been executive chef and food development manager masterclasses, right through to menu innovation. Tell us, how has that helped your business? It's been absolutely invaluable. Yeah, the education piece here yeah, for our chefs and our executive chefs is you know, absolutely second to none. Getting them to think about different ways of utilising different cuts and the correct cookery methods that go along with that is absolutely vital to the success of our business and obviously, yeah, the customer satisfaction at the other end. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. And different parts of the business need different things, whether you're in education or whether you're in aged care. Obviously, the nutritional requirements are different, but obviously, yeah, red meat, it features across all of them. So absolutely, yeah, pertinent. So the producer's done the hard work. It's our job to pay it the respect it deserves. Very much so. Let's do it, George. That looks amazing, beautifully caramelised. I think it's ready, Sam. It's been on there for about 30, 32 minutes now. Thanks, buddy. No worries, George. Look, George, thank you very much for coming out here today, learning about the producer plate story, and it's been an absolute great opportunity to give you the education to take back to the front line and even grow more demand of Australian red meat on menu. Absolute privilege, Sam. It was fantastic to spend some time with Charlie learning more about the merino industry and the technology and how it's evolved over time. And look, the end result is this amazing produce. Look at this, absolutely perfect. Wow. Can't wait to get into this. Thank you, George. Share the lamb, Compass. Thank you for your patronage. We love working with you. Pleasure.